everybody. It's so great. I'm so glad that you joined me again. I'm Carly, and these are my book reviews. I hope you like this one. So today's book is called Super Pancake by Megan Wagner Lloyd and Ab Abby. I think it's Abby. I'm not. I'm not very good at pronouncing things right correctly or so or so I think but then I don't mean to insult the author so I I'm honestly I honestly don't know I'm just gonna show it because maybe you know how to spell it I, I sound it out I don't know help me <laughs> um so so it's about a pancake called named Peggy who um tends to be late a lot and she kind of fi finds her life uninvent uninventful and she's like her yes and the, her parents think the brother's perfect and you try harder to be like your brother Patrick it's, um and then the bacon bullies pull off a, a prank on her that gives her matte and cool superpowers. So now she can like fly and she can fight really well and it's pretty cool. And, and uh, by the way, it's a graphic novel. Um, it honestly wasn't my favorite because it was a little young for me. It was, but but he was still cute and mm, some of you are younger so i did think it was pretty adorable and cute it's just it wasn't i would prefer like the rembrandt conspiracy or whatever like which which i did a review on so check that out um oh by the way they're all food they're all food like like Dr. Breakfast Sandwich, who is the bad guy up here. Um, he has, here there's a little map, sorry. I'm holding it sideways, that won't help. There's a map of it. Like this says Dr. Breakfast Sandwich Mega Mansion. It's a cheese grater, so. And this is Winifred Waffle Elementary School. So it's a waffle maker, so it's all like, food and kitchen supplies, which is why I thought it was kind of funny. Um, but, so, yes, um, so she finds life uneventful, and then she gets superpowers, and where was I? Oh, yes, um, so then, when her best friend and superhero sidekick gets taken by Dr. Breakfast Sandwich, she has to, she has to try to control her powers, and not get too sleepy so that her parents think she's going crazy and because she's trying to show them that she has mag that she has cool powers and she falls because she's too tired to even work it out and they're like oh my gosh Peggy go to bed um so so she has to control her powers and she has to save Luke which is her best friend He's a croissant, and and she has to do it all at the same time. And can you? Can she do it? What will happen? Oh my! Read it. So, have a good day. Oh, sorry. I didn't really learn a lesson in it. It was one of those. It's it's kind of like one of those younger books by. Um, like for little kids like that teach them about colors or whatever. I'm not saying it's that babyish. I'm just saying I'm not saying that it's babyish at all. I just I didn't care for it, but that doesn't mean you won't. I'm just saying I didn't really learn a lesson in it. And uh but my favorite part was how Peggy stood up for her friend and how the friendship between them because um the because he saved her by telling the bacon bullies leave us alone and then he grabbed her hand and rushed into the classroom before they even know knew what was happening and then she saved him when he was being teased 
by using her superhero fighting powers and um it's it's just adorable how how cute they are together it's just so cute um have a good day everyone make sure to subscribe to my channel and and help and you'll see lots of other videos i love to read and i hope you will too and have a good day everyone i love you not sorry that's kind of, never mind bye